How does the city plan to keep all of those spectators safe? Our team coverage continuing now with ABC6 reporter Maria Durant with a first-time look inside the police command center. Maria. Bob, well, right now we are at the corner of Front and Gay. I want to just kind of set the scene here and show you. We've got a lot of people along Front Street here. They're actually waiting for the parade to start, which starts at 6 o'clock. Now, as you mentioned, for the first time, we got to look inside the police command center, and this is where representatives from all of the separate city divisions come together and share information. Go ahead and take a look at the video there. This is what it looks like inside the center. We were there earlier today, and you can see it's not that busy. But we're told after 6 o'clock, that's when the crowds start picking up the command center buzzing through the command center. Police can take a look at more than 60 different city cameras. They've got a bird's eye look. We're able to maybe get a camera on the scene before officers actually get to the scene of what's going on and be able to direct them to what's happening or focus in on a suspect if something happens and follow them with the cameras. Now, another way the city is keeping you safe during red, white, and boom, putting officers on two wheels. We'll show you how these bikes are beneficial at crowded events, just like here at red, white, and boom. And there's about going to be about 40 of those police officers on those bikes. We'll talk with them coming up at 6 o'clock. We are live in downtown Columbus. I'm Maria Durant, ABC 6 News.